Hello, church family. My name is Edith. And my name is Dave. And together, some of our friends call us the Matlasses. Thanks for taking some time out of your busy day to join us in prayer for our church. Colossians 3, 23 and 24 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ that you are serving. Let's take our prayers to, to God in this time. Let's pray. Lord God, you are an awesome God. When we observe all of the intricacies of nature surrounding us, we say, Wow, what an awesome God. When we consider the loving sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, for our redemption, we say, Wow, what an awesome God. When we think about the ministries of the People's Church at home and abroad, and the impact that they've had on so many lives over the last 93 years, in which we pray will continue your, in your strength to grow and bear much fruit, we say, wow, what an awesome God. Lord God, we pray that you will continue to guide the leadership and ministry teams here at Peoples, and we ask for wisdom for them to make the right decisions at the right time to grow the body of Christ for God's global mission. We also ask that you enable the church's reopening to be a time of renewing and revitalization. God, we worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name. Loving Heavenly Father, it's been a long time since we've gathered together in the sanctuary to lift our voices in praise and worship to you. For too long, we've been living in fear that coming together could put our friends and family at risk. Lord, you do not want us to live in constant fear that overwhelms us. You want us to be strong and courageous as we seek to follow your will for our lives. Grant us your peace as we begin to assemble once again for corporate worship. Give our pastors and leaders wisdom and discernment as they establish new ways for us to gather together in person and online. Remind us to reach out and pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who still feel isolated at home and in need of encouragement. Thank you for all your good and perfect gifts that you have bestowed on us so freely. May we keep our eyes fixed on you, Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. As life unfolds with unexpected trials and unpleasant circumstances, Remind us that you are in control. Nothing that happens to us is a surprise to you, God. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you for establishing and keeping the people's church true to your word these 93 years. Please continue to bless this congregation who seek to spread the gospel message near and far that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through him who died on the cross to set us free from our bondage and sin. Amen.